In this video, we'll be going over our Notary Legal app, which simplifies complex notary laws across all US states with quick TLDRs or too long didn't read summaries. Uh, users can easily access the latest legal requirements, regulations, and guidelines specific to their state. All right, let's jump right in, take a look. So this uh, Notary Legal app is pretty simple to use. All you have to do on the left-hand side is um, use the drop-down menu to select your state or the state that you want to get the TLDR for. So let's just pick a random state. I'm going to pick South Carolina and you select generate results. And it takes about 20 seconds or so. And the results are going to pull up. AI is going to look up the, the, the laws for that specific state. And it's going to put it in a format that's easy to read. And that gives quick bullet points as to what the notary laws are for that state. So yeah, we're going to take a look right now. All right, here we go. So this is the breakdown of the TLDR for South Carolina. And it, here's some of the rules. So it says notaries are commissioned by the Secretary of State for 10 year terms. Um, there's no bond requirements. The journal is required only in only for in person electronic notary material acts. Uh, notaries can't perform acknowledgments, oaths, affirmation, jurats, witness signatures. Um, and they can also um, perform, you know, marriages. Um, electronic uh, notarization is also allowed for registered notaries, personal appearances, and satisfactory evidence of identity and are required for notarial acts. Uh, the max uh, the max fees range from five to ten dollars per signature. And South Carolina is an attorney only state. Okay, so these are just a quick bullet points um, of the notary laws. But if you want to go and get specific, um information about the notary laws, you can, the, um, the AI provides a reference where we can go to. So let's actually click on that reference and see what comes up. So this is a reference looks like from the NNA. Um, I'm pretty familiar with this site. And if you look on the upper left hand corner, you can see it's like a US notary reference and it pulled information from here. So it looks, if we were to scroll through this, you'll see, you know, how it goes into the different acts, different laws and, um, like court dockets and things like that, that refers to the different notary laws, but our AI basically read this entire thing and summarize it for you. But if you want to go ahead and read this, you absolutely can and should if you are a notary in the state of South Carolina. OK, so let's jump back over to the AI. So, again, we can do this for any state. Let's just choose another state. For example, let's go to let's go to Florida. All right, let's let's go to Florida. Uh, so alphabetize, yep, Florida and let's generate results for Florida as well. All right, so these are the TLDRs for Florida. Uh, notaries are appointed by the governor for a four year term, must be 18 years old and legal and a legal Florida resident. Uh, it's a $7,500 bond requirement. Um, all I notaries need a $25,000 bond. Uh, notaries must use a rubber stamp seal with their name, notary public state of Florida commission number and expiration date. Uh, journals are only required for online uh, notarial acts. Uh, Florida allows both in-person electronic notarization and remote online notarization with additional requirements. Uh, the maximum fee is $10 for regular not notarial acts and $25 for online notarizations. Uh, real estate deeds require two witnesses in addition to notarizations. So again, and they also, uh, uh, you also are able to use a reference to, to go into detail. Uh, what's also good here is you can have a conversation uh, with the AI about this, um, about this. And we can say, okay, uh, are the bond requirements are the bond okay right, let's, let's phrase it this way are bonds necessary in Florida Okay, so we um, submitted a question and let's see what the AI comes back with. I mean, we obviously know there is a bond requirement, but I'm just um, questioning the AI to, to see what results we'll come back with to, to ha kind of have a conversation with the AI about the material laws for Florida. Okay, great. So the AI responded and said in Florida, a $7,500 bond is required for regulatory for regular nor notaries, online notaries in Florida. Online notaries in Florida are required to have a $2,500 bond, $25,000 bond, sorry. So with this, you can ask questions. So if something that you're looking for is not listed here, you can go ahead and ask. And then what the AI is going to do is it's going to go back, look at the reference, try to find the information that you're looking for and provide that to you. So this is just an app that you can use. Um, I know a lot of times I see in a lot of the different chats, especially for new notaries, they, they do have questions about the, 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 the different notary laws within their state. And I know that that's, that's quite important for you to know. And it's good to have an AI that knows everything about the AI, about the <laughs> a notary that is AI, right? Yeah. But that is very familiar with the notary laws and can answer any of your questions. So I hope that this app provides value to you. And I hope that this video also provided value to you. So until next time, peace.